The building that sits at 2229 to 2233 West Franklin Street was another real estate venture for Jacob Foles, Jr. It is often referred to as the J.W. Foles Commercial Block. Constructed in 1904, the Helt and Schuler Implement Company was housed in the west end of the building, while the east end of the building was home to Theodore Gerke's Drugstore. A two-story addition was added to the east end in 1905 and housed the Stinson Brothers Dry Goods Company. While Gerke and Helton Schuler's companies were hometown-based, the Stinson Brothers Dry Goods was a regional chain operated by the Stinson Brothers. William E. Stinson came to Evansville in 1905 to operate the branch and over the years became a more prominent business figure. Stinson played a big role in the organization of the Westside Nut Club and is said to have given the club its name. Many businesses have called the Foles Commercial Block home, such as a furniture store and an electronics business. Today, the main building houses the Woolsley Financial Company. The east side of the building is now home to Southwest Graphics Apparel. The building's features are somewhat basic compared to its counterparts on Franklin Street. It is built in a typical turn-of-the-century commercial style. Constructed of brick, the original first-floor facade would have featured banks of plate glass display windows. For the first part of the 20th century, the name J.W. Foles adorned the front of the building, but has since been removed. A limestone string course separates the first and second floors. In the center of the original portion of the building, there is a corbelled parapet that extends above the roof line. The central second floor windows under this parapet are highlighted by twin round arches and a series of brick box designs along the top of the facade. The J.W. Foles commercial block remains an important example of turn of the century commercial architecture on West Franklin Street.